Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to our Outdoors channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how this Holster Partner Body Shield will protect your skin from pistol grip rash. How to install it and how to use it. Now, disclaimer is that this is not an official or paid review, nor an endorsement of the product. I purchased these products myself and I'm not being reimbursed by anyone for this review. Now, this is an unbiased review and evaluation of the product and how it works. Now stick around to the end for some extras and information you'll want to see. Be sure to read the description below as it contains additional information, links, updates, and corrections. And check back often. Please give this a like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss anything. So let's get to this one now. Okay, so what this is going to be about is a quick overview is how this Holster Partners Body Shield works. Basically, you have your pistol and your holster for inside the waistband carry, which means the backside here, your grip, which is pretty rough based on the texture, rubs against your side of your skin and so forth and gives you some rash. So, what you come up with is we take this holster shield and stick it on the back here with the Velcro, and that covers up the backside here against your pistol grip so you don't get any body rash. And that protects your body. So I'll go on and show you how this works. All right, so for my 380 pistol, I've got this unloaded, the magazine is out. I've got nothing in the chamber, so it's safe to go here. And nothing in it, so I can show you this here. Um, I've got, over time, I've tried out uh, a number of different holsters for carrying my 380 with me all the time. And sometimes I carry a 380, sometimes I carry a 9mm. But for this one here, I'm looking at my 380 and how am I going to use this Holster Partners body shield and how I'll make that work. And what I've got is five holsters here. This one. Um, was a pocket carry for my back pocket like you would a wallet. Carry it in your back pocket and whether you're left hand or right hand it would be a little bit different. This one's a right hand. And then I've got this one from Alien Gear which is inside the waistband. It's a neoprene. And it's got the adjustments for the cant and so forth and also the height to carry at. And this fits in here pretty well. And uh, draws pretty easily. Uh, the pressure when it's in your pants, the pressure holding here is going to hold it so it's snug. Then I've got this Bianchi holster that I like and it's an inside the waistband holster too. And what I like about this one is with this Colt pocket Mustang you get the hammer back and you got that hammer back there visibly. Whereas with other semi-automatic pistols, the carriage here is fully covered and covers this hammer so you don't usually see it. Um, but if you got a safety on, that's fine, but sometimes I'm afraid that safety might get knocked off and it could be an issue. So, uh, what I like about this Bianchi one, works great and pistol fits into this and it's got the strap that comes around in front of the hammer here and then the snap holds it in place and it's you know pretty secure. I've got it adjusted so it's very tight and holds my pistol securely. Now if I want to draw all I have to do is snap that off and I can draw pretty quick and easy. So that's one of my favorites. Now this one is a cheap I don't know $20 holster you can get it's like a front pocket holster maybe if you're wearing a suit or something like that you can carry your pistol in that and have don't have as much to show or any bulk or anything like that of course if you've got a suit jacket on yeah maybe inside the waistband carry would work with that too or even an outside carry uh, outside the waistband because your pistol uh, as long as you got your coat jacket on or your sports coat jacket on your suit jacket on it's going to be covering up your pistol so it won't be seen. <clears throat> then 
Then this other one I've got here, now this one is outside the waistband carry, and your belt runs through this and carry it on the outside. Now this works pretty good, and this would probably be something I would wear uh, if I'm in the outdoors, bicycle riding on the trails, something like that. In case I come across any critters that could be a threat, this would be a good one to carry. This um, has a magnetic catch in here, and if you don't pull this correctly, if you pull up, this doesn't open. If you go slide backwards, then it opens. So you can carry a pistol in there, and you adjust the catch. And this is like a magnet, it just kind of snaps into there. And then you can have it secure, carry it outside your waistband so it's quick and easy to access. And if you want to, you can pull it out very quickly. Takes practice. So, I'm going to put this Holster Partners body shield on two of these holsters. And the ones I favored are actually these two here. And they're both inside the waistband carry. And that's what this shield is for, is to protect your body from getting a rash from the uh, grip of your pistol. And what luckily what they do is they give you enough Velcro here with this from Holster Partners. I can cut this in half and fit one half on this holster, on this part, after I've got all this adjusted. And on this one, this is going to go on this side where it'll attach to that side. So I got enough Velcro to do both these holsters here and one body shield, which I only need because it depends on what I'm carrying. I just shift this around to the other particular carry. So that works great. So that's what I'll do is I'll cut this in half, attach it to each of these, and that'll be for most of my everyday carry. Uh, most of the time in public, I just carry a 380 instead of a 9mm. 9mm is a little more bulky, but depends on what your comfort level is. Everybody has a different style, different dress. Depends on, you know, what you want to have. I just want to insert here that you can shoot 22 LR ammo with an AR-15. It just requires a special bolt adapter and a magazine. And that saves a lot of money on ammo, and you have fun plinking with your AR-15. We make these special easy loaders for loading those magazines. They're available in four colors, black, blue, green, and gray. See the video links in the description below to learn how easy this is and where you can get the easy loaders. Now you can save a lot of money on ammo and essentially get two rifles in one. Okay, so I have attached the Velcro to the back side of these holsters to hold this body shield in place on them. So I just put it on there, line it up to cover the pistol grip so the texture of the pistol grip won't rub against my body and give me body rash. And that'll give me great protection there. And this hooks on the inside or outside of my belt for inside the waistband carry. Then if I want to use this holster, I'll just switch it around. Let's see, take my pistol out of this one, stick it in here. This just peels off. Put it on this one. Try to line it up reasonably well. And that gives me protection on that. And this all holds in place very well. Once it's inside my waistband, it's not going to move around, or this is not going to come off. It stays in place very well. So, that's how I got those to work and fit, and it does a great job for me. I like it. My favorite holster is probably this Bianchi one, because uh, the way it carries and so forth. And I think it's maybe a little bit thinner. I don't know, it depends once the pistol is in there. It might be a little bit thinner than the alien gear one. But I like how this snaps around to keep the hammer from going anywhere so that won't uh, go off by any excellent chance. And this just feels good and comfortable for me to wear. So this one will too and each one you always got to get used to it and also different holsters. You have to practice drawing on it so 
you would be uh, quick on your draw. Okay, I'm going to give you a shot here, or a video clip, of how this holster uh, fits in, how this holster partner body shield works and protects my skin. So I'm going to step up on a stool here so I can get up so the camera can see it. And I'll try and zoom in on this too. Uh, give it a good image. So get up here. If I want to draw, I see got this protection here from my firearm handle. And the texture on that protects my skin from getting all of a rash. So this works great and it's easy to draw. So getting it back in though is a bit of a challenge. I usually have to drop my pants a little bit so I can get it loose enough to slip the uh, firearm back into the holster. So try not to pull it too many times, but enough to sit and practice with the firearm empty, practicing the draw because you need to know how to use it when it comes time. So that's how it works. That's how it protects the side of your body and your skin from uh, pistol grip rash on your skin. Okay. Here I got my 9mm pistol for inside the waistband carry and it's got this kind of holster from Alien Gear and this is a larger pistol so it's going to take a larger size body shield. And the way this one works, I've got, mine's a right hand draw, and so you put your pistol in like this in your holster, and turn it upside down so your pistol's facing that way. Your body shield should be facing this direction where this part goes out larger. So that way when you pull it around, it's going to fit on there and cover your pistol grip. And that'll give you protection against your skin from any rash from your pistol grip. And it's pretty much that simple, just like the, doing the 380 and sticking the Velcro on there. And that'll give you lots of great protection from skin rash. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up icon. Also, please share it with your family, friends, and fellow outdoors enthusiasts. Well, please subscribe by clicking on that little red icon down in the lower right corner. And be sure to hit the bell icon so you won't miss anything. And please leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you think, or your suggestions, and what you may be interested in seeing. Other viewers often leave some great tips and ideas that may answer some of your questions. So thank you for your contributions. Now be sure to read the description below as it contains additional information, updates, and corrections. And check back often for the updates and corrections to these videos. So as they say in the Red Green Show, the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they should find you handy. Thank you.